That's our big story at 10. Prosecutors blaming the death of a two-year-old on the boy's father. 36-year-old Lance Vandenbush of New London is charged with first-degree reckless homicide in Wapaka County. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel is live in the newsroom tonight with more. Raquel? Stacy, according to this criminal complaint, Vandenbush was home alone with his son on December 3rd while the boy's mother went to work. And that's when things went horribly wrong. They'd be out there and they'd be coming up the road. They'd go up Donna the road. Cruz lives across the street from where the little boy used to live. I mean, he was the most happy, this cutest little blonde just all over the place all the time. Just, they always had a really lot of fun, it seemed like. But then, tragedy on December 3rd. According to the criminal complaint, Lance Vandenbush was watching his two year old son while the boy's mother went to work. Later that day, she received text messages from Vandenbush telling her her son was getting sick and that he was congested and had violence. Vomited. She left work to come home and later took the boy to the hospital where doctors said he sustained a massive brain injury that occurs when a child is shaken or thrown. Adding the amount of force required to inflict these injuries is massive. Neighbors are in shock. It's sad that you hate to see any tragedy to any little child. person killing a child, especially your own child, I mean, how can you... How can you do that to your own child? Neighbors say it's a tragic end to such a young life. Now, Vandenbush denies abusing his son, but doctors say those claims don't match up with the toddler's injuries. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Raquel Amell, NBC 26. Vandenbush is scheduled to appear in Wapaka County Court on April 17th. He faces up to 60 years in prison if convicted.